वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी गो नो टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू मैनेज ए क्रेविंग्स एंड वाई डू एक्जैक्टली गेट ए क्रेविंग्स ड्यूरिंग योर फिटनेस जर्नी एंड वट वुड बी द लॉन्ग टर्म अप्रोच एंड वट आर द पॉइंट्स यू नीड टू एक्चुअली लुक इन टू टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस क्रेविंग्स सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टूडेज वीडियो My name is Arvind Padmaraju and I'm a founder of Half Fit and Half Fit Lifestyle Hub. So we are in a mission of making 100k working professionals fit and healthy by following a sustainable habits. And also our longer term vision is to create a new breed of healthy and fit kids. So each one of us contribution is going to help them to build that foundation and um, we become their role models on their own fitness and um, health routine. so let's first understand uh, what is the important uh, thing about the cravings because any time when you start a journey and uh, be because of some of the reasons if you don't follow uh, if you don't understand your body if you don't listen to your body there is high chance of you going into a cravings attack during this journey that's why it is very important for you to understand your body your existing eating habits your existing lifestyle all of them has to be slowly and gradually has to be changed uh, to attain your health and fitness goal it is not about you just going on some kind of a fat diet or some kind of a very strict diet and some kind of a aggressive workout and you attain a goal and go back to your old habits what it happens is it will put you into the loop of losing and gaining weight so today in this video i'm going to talk about what are the main reasons why you get a cravings what happens into your body on a day to day basis cravings are normal cravings is something that your body is giving a signal to yourself that you know you 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 are in a lack in energy or your body is putting you in no into a energy consumption state so the some of the reasons why you get exactly uh, cravings during the fat loss journey is the first thing is first and foremost thing is um, you have uh, you are not having a proper uh, balanced meal what does that mean is you are not taking you are not taking enough protein or you are not taking enough um, uh, fats and you are not taking enough vitamins and minerals through a foods what happens is that will put you into a um, kind of a hunger state because you are not giving the enough nutrition what your body is required basically your mind and body is very well very well connected so your mind actually keep checking on your body that whatever food you are eating are you getting enough nutrition or not by any chance if you don't uh, if you're not getting it your mind will be keep sending a signals hunger signals to your body that you know you really need to fulfill it that's why you keep feeling hungry that's why if you whenever you eat any kind of a junk food or any kind of a high sugary food what happens is see your body as some uh, meant to have certain kind of a nutrients every single day those are proteins your vitamins your minerals and your your good carbs and fiber and then good fats these things are required for you to perform each and every body part if you're not giving them on a right amounts what happens is your mind will be keep sending you a signals that is a one of the main reason um, why you feel hungry you need to make sure that whether your diet is in point or not the second point is your insulin imbalance or your sugar imbalance what happens is whenever you take a food when you take your high calorie food your food get digested especially with the simple carbs that food will be digested and it will be converted into a sugar and uh, enter enter into a blood stream so what it uh, does is it spikes up the sugar level and there is something called pancreas in your um, uh, in your body which thinks that sugar is high and pancreas job is to maintain the insulin level so it actually reduces to balance it out that you know you have excess energy by this process what happens is your body actually puts you into a low energy state again so that's why if you see any kind of a simple carbs when you consume you you tend to eat uh, more and your body will be get, get digested very fast and again you put you into a a uh, hunger state that is a second number you need to check whether you have the insulin resistance or insulin imbalance if you have then accordingly you need to plan you need to control the foods which actually spikes up your insulin try to focus to have a uh, complex carbs instead of a uh, simple carbs um, restrict the simple carbs fat uh, especially the junk foods high calorie foods as much as possible to avoid that or you can check whether you have uh, any other uh, insulin uh, deficiencies or something third important thing is a sleep deprivation so one of the most important thing is human body is meant to move more and rest well so what happens is if you don't take a proper sleep if you don't give enough rest to your sleep 
there is a hormonal imbalance there is a hormonal changes happens into your body which which releases a cortisol is a stress hormone and which actually triggers your hunger hormone which will put you into a hunger state you can remember whenever you slept for 2 to 3 hours the next day should have been really tough because your body is consistently asking for the food because of that hormonal imbalance so never ever sacrifice your sleep especially if you are wanted to live the healthy and fit life sleep is one of the most important thing you need to focus on fourth thing is your emotional state so most of the times your anger your your fear your um, your overthinking all of them also there is uh, there is some patterns happens that you know your body craves for the food because the emotional state also triggers your hormonal imbalance and it will put you into a hunger state again until and unless you don't address you don't fix that root cause of that emotional um, state it is really difficult for you to you know <coughs> control the hunger the next important point is your stress management it could be a office it could be a work it could be your uh, financial it could be your family so any stress again releases a hormone called the cortisol which which will again triggers uh, the hunger hormone the whole cycle goes in so what is most important is you need to know how to manage a stress effectively if you don't know how to manage a stress then it is really really difficult during the um, uh, fat loss journey to reduce uh, your weight or a fat because you consistently put you into a hunger state and it is really uh, difficult for you to resist your uh, the cravings so it's not about you changing your foods it is about you changing and fixing the root cause of the stress what is a triggered for that stress and um, sit with yourself understand that stress uh, triggers and try to see how you can avoid those triggers uh, in your body so that you you get out of the stress the next important thing is not having enough water our body doesn't understand the difference between uh, thirst and hunger so most of the times you are actually thirsty but because of you drinking a less water you tend to eat more and also it puts you into a cravings so make sure that you hydrate well this is one of the most important things people neglect drink enough water during your journey sixth point is you having a too much um, high high sugary foods or um, high sodium foods and also there is um, by eating this uh, high sugary food high salty foods your body also puts you into a hunger state so make sure that you limit it's not about you completely getting rid of it limit the sodium and uh, sugar intake especially the raw sugar intake um during this journey is to avoid the cravings and also there is uh, recently i have uh, studied that any vitamin deficiencies will also put you into a cravings uh it could be a low zinc uh, you are low in zinc low in iron low in chromium low in calcium and magnesium so please do check your vitamin uh, test and see if there is any deficiencies are there if there is any deficiencies please try to um, fulfill those uh, uh, deficiencies through food or food items whatever is um, required your balanced diet should be up to the mark if you are not having enough uh, protein enough fats and enough um, uh, fiber then there is a high chance of your body puts you into hunger state because these are very very essential so make sure that you don't neglect on them minimum protein is required which is at least 1 to 1.5 into your target body weight or your ideal body weight and at least 0.6 to 0.8 of good fats and um, at least uh, 15 grams every 1000 calories you consume the fiber so make sure that they are part of your diet if you don't give that again you put you into a hunger state because of lack of nutrition into your body so the next thing is so you are also need to uh, take care of your um, simple carbs try to restrict them as much as possible because they will spike again insulin as i told you initially so try to restrict them and have a complex carb which are high in fiber will always make you full and also will not make you um, hunger every now and then okay because it's all about your body is how your be- your body is been trained it is going to send you a signals that signals will put you into a, a craving state so make sure that you try to have your carbs more most of the carbs comes from the complex carbs and if you have any kind of addiction so there is a kind of a dopamine dip, uh, depression happens so that is also causes to put you into hunger state uh, maybe you have a smoking you have alcohol or any kind of a dopamine release happening because of existing uh, the habits so that also put you into a hunger state so make sure that you control that by slowly slowly limiting your uh, dopamine hits by uh, your, your existing um, habits so that you need to change uh, during this process so that is all for uh, uh, today so these are all the things is matters is again i'm telling you every human body is unique 
the things which work for me may or may not work for you what is most important is you need to understand what is your body is saying what you can sustain what is exactly can suit you is what is best for you so that is why what i have done is i uh, i have put across a free training on coming saturday which is around 11 o'clock indian time i will be talking about in detail about all the things like you know how you can start a fitness journey how you can create your own overall plan and how you can become your own coach by just following that blueprint you will be able to uh, understand that so if you are really interested you can click on that uh, registration link i'll drop the link in my uh, by uh, my description so please um, enroll it and uh, we will get started so till then arvind signing off as i always say let's focus on fitness as a lifestyle and um, focus on building a habits is the only way you can build fitness so the strong mindset with a strong knowledge you can build a sustainable fitness for a lifetime so i wish you a great health see you again with the one more new video Take care. Bye-bye.